Hello and welcome to the first Wall of Enforcement Getting Started video. Within this educational session, we shall methodically demonstrate the process of importing Kriber families, clarify how to effectively utilize a sample project, provide a preliminary overview of the configuration interface and expound upon the method of linking configurations to walls to streamline the generation of Kriber elements. And we will see what are the different approaches for storing Kriber configurations. Let's navigate to the T4R reinforcement panel in the Rabbit ribbon and open the Wall Reinforcement tool. This tool facilitates the addition of reinforcement to solid, double, and sandwich walls utilizing predefined configurations. For starters, we need to make sure that we have river types loaded to the project to reinforce walls. There are a few options on how to load river families into the project. First, if you just started working with Revit, it's important to choose the right project template. Let's create a new project and select a structural template. Under the family tree, we find structural rebar with rebar shapes, hooks, and types. You can also load them by using the Revit library. Go to the structure panel, then navigate to rebar, and once you click on it, a window about rebar hooks pops up. Click OK, then you will get a warning that no river shape family is loaded. Let's load some now by clicking Yes, and I will choose default river families that come from the Revit library. Once families are loaded, we can find the family under the family tree in the structural river category. If you need to add different river families, you can easily copy these families from the other project. We provide a sample model file, which you can find by going to the settings, then eHelp. You will be directed to our support page, and if you scroll down, you will find the sample projects not only for wall reinforcement, but also for other tools that are included in the Brecast Concrete Suite. You can easily transfer rebar types from this model, save configurations from this file and use them for your projects. Once you download it and open the sample model, in the project browser navigate to the family section and right-click it. Choose Save, then choose a folder to save your families to, and in the Family to Save field, leave the All Families option as it is. After the saving is done, open the target project. Load family from the Insert tab and mark the families you want to import while holding the Ctrl key. Then click Open and your families are ready to use. To preserve the configurations from the sample project, you can simply click Modify and select an individual river within a specific wall. Configuration window will open. On the left side, you will see reinforcement options and settings. At the top, you can find the configuration name, and on the right, you can find the Save button. Once you navigate to the right button and click on it, you will be able to save this configuration on your computer. All configurations are saved and stored in a specific location. To find the configuration file's location, you need to go to the Settings, then Configuration Files Location. In this window, you can select a path where to store configuration files. They can be saved on your computer or in a shared location. You can also have several places to store configurations for different project types. To establish a configuration for a new wall, it is necessary to associate the configuration with a specific wall layer. In this tutorial, we possess the capability to address wall types that include a structural layer and have the materials assigned. For clarity, we can increase wall transparency so we can see rebars when the wall is reinforced. Now let's click on Link Wall. In this dialog on the left, we have all structural walls in the project. On the right, we have information about wall layers. The first three columns represent wall type information, 
and another column represents the configuration for each layer of the wall. We select the recently created wall type and associate the configuration with it. If we possess multiple wall layers, we have the flexibility to assign distinct configurations as required. Note that if you want to have a different reinforcement in the same wall type, you need to duplicate the wall and then link different configuration to a new wall type. Once the configuration is linked to the wall type, we can create rebars by clicking Create Rebar. Wall reinforcement recognizes various wall shapes and speeds up rebar creation based on configurations. Don't forget to check on our next video where we are going to look at how to create a new configuration. Thanks for watching and see you next time!